And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense. And will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. This guy has taken shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. Enter this young fighter here, his kicks as powerful as anyone in the sport at present. And not only that, but he'll do major damage just by landing a couple of them. Oftentimes, all it will take one kick to the body just underneath that elbow or a kick to the lead leg, and you can change the entire complexion of the fight. Very curious to see how it plays out for this powerful kicker in this matchup tonight. He's an extremely well-rounded mixed martial artist. Fantastic stand-up, great wrestler, and very slick on the ground. He's worked hard to have world-class skills at every aspect of the sport, and there are very few, if any, holes in his game. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record out. 14 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Super! And now for his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of six wins, four losses. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Priceless! And in the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliotta. Dan Mergliotta, your referee. Uh, you ready? You ready? Let's First go. round underway. All right, here he is, ready to go for round one of a possible three, and his opponent would be wise. Wow! Back up to his feet. Well, what a whirlwind of a fight week it has been for this young man. He's on the paper. Oh, oh he's out. Oh, he's out. Beautiful knockout here early in the first. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout. Near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. And here it is again. Boom! Right on the money. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.